Hola, yo soy Mariana. My name is Mariana Monzon. I am 18 years old and I am Mexican. I guess like I've always loved to draw and write little bit stories from when I was a kid. My dad, my dad and my mom's influence was definitely there. Like they're both creative people. They're always talking about, you know, drawing and ink and whatever it is. So like they've always taught me everything I know about art. So I felt like it just became a part of me. Like I love to be creative. If, if it's not being creative, I'm doing something with my creativity or like, you know, dancing around or whatever it is. Like it's just something that fulfills me, you know, being creative. I really, really, really love my family. We're just, uh, we're all our best friends and we take care of each other. And they are the ones that get me through each day and the purpose that I want to live and be happy. I remember just bits and pieces of Mexico. I just like going to my grandfather's house and swimming with my family. And just like, everything was just so cool, like beautiful. And I really do, did like my life in Mexico. And then when we moved in Canada, it was very different. I was obviously, I spoke Spanish, so the first year trying to get to people understand me, I would just speak gibberish, so I felt like a little bit of like an alien, you know? I felt different from everybody else. I just looked around and and as much as I tried to communicate, even, even they didn't speak my language, not just in Spanish, but also just the way I am. I can't, I couldn't communicate. I was just too different and I didn't, I never understood why. Trying to make friends was the hardest thing, especially because everybody already knew each other from SK and JK, so there was already cliques. What does that mean, a clique? What a mean? clique is like a group of people that have similar interests, but don't let other people come in, so they're very exclusive. And that's a lot of the people that were in my school were. So I kind of grew up with this group of people, but I never felt truly accepted or felt like I, I could become friends with one of them. And so I went through a lot of just like betrayals or just a lot of backstabbing and people talking behind my back or whatever it was. It was just, it was not the best experience. So in grade eight, I had a, a clip a click of my own because I was very similar with certain people and I thought it was the best time. I was like, I was finally fitting in. I was very happy and I got great friends. But then I realized that they were just not like me and I decided to, instead of changing myself and becoming someone that I'm not, I'm just going to distance myself from everyone. And that was the hardest part. Because of this decision I made, I spent most of my grade eight year alone. So grade nine turned out to be a total different experience. I felt accepted, I was part of a group, and I finally felt happy to go to school again. However, three months in, I realized that my body was having some difficulties and four days before Christmas, I found out I had cancer. Um, so the next two weeks were just filled with intense chemotherapy because I had to get rid of my cancer, in which I was declared cancer-free after two weeks, but I had to do three years worth of treatment because of my leukemia. And for me, that was a really tough time but it was also one of my life-changing moments. Mother hugging. It's where I really found God and I really found I my purpose God. for my life. And how are you guys doing? I met Tina at camp and she was looked fine. Like she was, she's got cancer like anything else, but she had like a tumor in her lungs. And um, like she, she, had, she was struggling more than other people. Like she was like hard to walk, she was very skinny. And then so I'm like, okay, I have to do something. So we invited her over at my house to make a spa. And I'm like, I'm gonna take her away from her suffering and I'm just gonna like make her a day just for her. So I made a spa day. We, I set her down in a really comfy chair and I, I made like a spa atmosphere and we just pampered her. I put her in like soaking her feet in like bubbles and then I painted her nails and you know, we just talked about God and talked about life. Then we went downstairs and I showed her my favorite movie, Elf, cause she had to watch it. 
we get made a little blog together just describing like hey when we were 18 we're not gonna be adults we're gonna be children like crazy and you know we're just like discussing our stuff and our future and our dream okay my message to anybody in the world is don't judge a book by its cover in general just don't judge people it was such a simple idea too all i had to do was set up some chairs put some nail equipment out and just pamper her and i could see on her face it was such a different change for her she was happy and it was just a special moment for us as friends. Having struggled so much through grade eight and then having to pass through a next trial, which is cancer, I think God was just prepping me for a hard world so I can face it with such positive attitude. And I think maybe it could have destroyed my life and it could have, I could have died. But in the end, like God used that for me and for others so I can be able to inspire and to, um, I guess, grow with him and grow with other people. Through it all, I have seen that God truly loves me. It has brought me to meet really inspiring people and I was able to make incredible memories that I don't think I would have had if I had been in a normal lifestyle. So I think this abnormal and extraordinary thing that has happened in my life, I don't take it for granted at all. I take it like as, I don't know. It's, just, it's become so part of my life, and it, I, I don't see myself ever not having gone through it. It just, it would have been, I would have been a total different person. I wouldn't have been the person I am today. <laughs>